Good day. Today I'm going to show you how to use a Bezier curve to define your bevel. Open Blender, delete your cube, go to top mode or for graphic, shift A, add a Bezier circle. Scale it out. I used times 9. Go into edit mode, add another circle, scale it out, move it, add another circle, scale a little bit, move it. What we're making here is a smiley face. Add another circle. And move it. And shape it into a mouth. Now go into object mode and you want to go up to your Bezier object data. So click on that, select 2D to give your shape a face. Now go to extrude and extrude at point 0.2. Next I added a bevel of 0.25 and now it looks like a big smiley face tablet. Now change the bevel resolution to 4 to smooth off the edge there and make it curved rather than a flat angled bevel. Now I'm going to change the bevel of it so that the eye and mouth aren't quite so closed. In the end I think I went with 0.1. And now it's ready to convert into a mesh. So go to Object, go to the top, and Convert. And now it's a mesh. Alternatively, you could have hit V to bring up the same options. Now before I render it, I want to make it yellow. So go to Material, New, and make it yellow. And Render. And there it is. Okay, so what if you wanted a nice rounded edge instead of that flat? Now, that's not too hard to do. First I better set my mesh back into a Bezier curve. Make my curve yellow because I like looking at it while it's yellow more than drab grey. And set my extrude to zero. And now you've got more of a disc with a full rounded edge. The only problem is you can't get the same thickness as you can get with extrude. And convert that into a mesh and have a look. Now what if you wanted a concaved bevel rather than the convexed one we have now? Well in the bevel, when you type your number, just put a minus in front of it. In the end I think I chose minus 0.1, but something like minus 0 0.075 probably would have worked better. Now, as I said, the problem with doing it this way is you can't make it any higher without using the extrude which will then give you a flat edge and that's where your Bezier uh, curve comes in so let's go back to object mode shift A and add a Bezier curve now to make it easier to see what's going on I add mine to the front view and drag it up and rotate it along the X by 90 which is R X 90 and now just set the curve that you would like to see on your object and that's the edge I want to see now I'm going to change the view so we can see what's happening a bit better and select my smiley face then go to the bevel object and link it with my Bezier curve now I don't want it that fat, so select your Bezier curve, hit S, and scale it down. 
I know it's given us pretty much the same effect as using the bevel without the extrude. So now select the end point and we're going to drag it up and that will set the thickness of our object. And make sure you only drag it along the Z axis or the Y axis if you started in top view. I'm just going to move my curve a bit so I can see it easier. Next I hit A to select all and then subdivide it. That gives me a uh, middle point which I can push in or out which will push my edge in and out. Now once you've reached this point have a little play with the handles uh, move me in and out, up, down and see what type of effects you get on the side of your smiley face. And if you notice setting things too much will close up your eyes or mouth or deform your object into something unrecognisable. Now press V and select automatic and it will set your curve back to a nice even rounded curve again. And I'm going to pull my middle point in, making it into a concaved edge. And next I'm just playing with my handles to get a nice rounded top and bottom edge. And my end result kind of looks like a big alvey fishing reel. Now if you look closely you'll see my top and bottom edges now are slightly risen. I don't really want that so to get rid of that effect I need to set the top and bottom uh, points of my curve so that they're horizontal. Okay, and that's your end result. So you might be wondering now, what else can you do with this curve? So I'm going to leave my curve and go into object mode, select my smiley face, and X and delete it. Now I just want to add a Bezier circle. S to scale, go to 2D, and select my Bezier curve for the bevel. And what I'm going to try and make now is a plate. So first I select the bottom point, X and delete. And now I'm just going to set my curve. And so I don't get a sharp transition on the bottom of my plate, I'm going to select the middle point of the top handles and control click, which will add another set of handles and a point. And I want to make that kind of flat, which will make a nice smooth transition into the base of the plate. And let's have a look at what we got. There's my plate. Now select the plate and go back into 3D mode. That way you've got a hole in the base of it because when I convert it into a mesh I don't like the big zigzaggy lines that it puts in there. So this time I'm going to leave the hole and I'm going to alt click on the edge E to extrude, escape and alt M join at center. And then I want to do the same with the bottom of the plate. So that was Alt click to select, E to extrude, escape, Alt M and join at center. Hopefully that's given you a bit of a better understanding of what's going on. Um, 
have a play around and see what you can come up with. There's some pretty cool kind of shapes you can make out of using this thing. Okay, well, thanks for watching and hope to help some.